Hello, I'm Gary from Phoenix Perennials and we're going to continue talking about bulbs today and this time we are talking about ornamental onions or the alliums. Uh, we know that onions are great in cooking but they're also fantastic as ornamental additions to the garden. They provide a shape and uh, a flower form that is pretty unique among perennials. They are long-lived bulbs and they will come back year after year, so that makes them a wonderful addition to the garden. So let's turn this around and we will look at some of the different ornamental onions that we have here at the nursery. So you can see, here's our selection of ornamental onions. We have almost everything that's available out there, including some forms that are a little bit harder to find. You can see that they all consist of uh, kind of uh, naked stems with big balls of white, purple, or blue, and even yellow flowers sitting on top. And so, you know, a few other plants provide this structure in the garden. So in May, June, and July, you can get a really cool flower form uh, into into the garden, which contrasts well with all of the different flower forms. So on the left, I love this one. This one's called Schubertii, and to me this looks like a giant firework going off in the garden. This will be on stems to about a foot high, and uh, those flower heads can be six or eight inches in diameter, which is pretty cool. This is the drumstick allium, or Sphaerocephalon. These are small heads, uh, only about two to three inches tall. They bloom quite late, usually in June. I have mine combined with ladies' mantle, which blooms at the same time. These rise up behind the ladies' mantle and create a nice little combination of the electric green flowers of the ladies' mantle and then these wonderful drumsticks growing to about two feet tall. This is Allium giganteum with some of the largest flower heads in this group. They can certainly be six inches across or larger. And then here, an even better one, Globe Master, which tends to be a little bit longer lived uh, and will bulk up with time, creating lots of babies at the base and nice clumps. And you can see those heads can get pretty big. So that's pretty smashing in the garden. Mine bloom at about the same time as the uh, bearded or German irises. And that's kind of a neat combination of two very different flower forms. Here we have an unusual allium. This is called hair, so it's not really that colorful as much as it's a bit of an oddball. This is a really neat one that we used in our display garden at the World Rose Festival in 2009. A lot of people really liked it. It grows quite tall, usually to about four or five feet tall. And then it has these beautiful plummy purple flower heads. They're not huge flower heads, they're probably only about three inches tall each one, but uh, they're a deep rich plummy purple. Quite gorgeous. This is Forelock. This one here is a little bit similar to the Shebertii, which I showed you first. This one's called Christophii, and rather than being a firework with, uh, with little flowers at all different points out from the center, in this case, you have a firework, but where all the flowers are on the edge of a globe surrounding the, uh, surrounding kind of the explosion of color and flowers. Here we have two different white forms. On the left, this is Ivory Queen. This is a short one. It has beautiful ornamental bluish green leaves. And then sitting right on top of that is a big flower head that's at least four, five, or even six inches across. And then this one, Mount Everest, is a tall blooming one. And this will grow to about, you know, about three feet with pretty big flower heads, about four, five, or even six inches across. And this one here is a great allium, perhaps one of the best. This is Purple Sensation. This one is pretty famous because it blooms at the exact same time as the as the uh, golden chain trees or the laburnums. So these can grow in a 
part shade to part sun and, and full sun position underneath the golden chain trees. It looks particularly spectacular. There's a famous uh, laburnum walk at Van Dusen Gardens where they've done this exact combination. Here we have a blue allium. This one is allium azurium. It's not a very tall one. These are small heads to uh, about an inch or two across and the stems are about two feet tall, but it's a beautiful, true royal blue. It's another really pretty one. This is Atropurpureum, also growing to about two feet with a little bit smaller heads. This is a mix of different uh, alliums from Allium Flavum, and this mix is called Fireworks. And in this mix, you can get whites, yellows, and the traditional purples. And here's a plant that used to be considered an allium and now it's really thought to be in the genus Nectarosquartum, species name Bulgaricum. So you can see it has a little bit of a different structure from the other alliums. It has these downward facing bells. This will grow to about two to three feet tall and, and it is quite a beautiful and unique bulb for the uh, spring and early summer garden. So that is our selection of ornamental onions. I think they are fantastic plants for the mid and late spring and early summer gardens, giving you a flower form unlike pretty much everything else in the garden, well worth including in your perennial borders. I'm Gary from Phoenix Perennials. I hope you've enjoyed this little discussion and happy gardening. We'll see you at the nursery.